hearing loss is a partial or total inability to use one's sense of hearing. Many factors can cause hearing loss, including genetics, age, noise exposure, and others. Michael Peterson of the Legacy Hearing Center says there are five things people should do to avoid hearing loss. The first thing that you need to do is monitor uh, your noise exposure times. Um, basically anything above 85 decibels has the potential to damage your hearing, um, especially if you're exposed to that over a long period of time. At 85 decibels, which is about the volume of a, a lawnmower or a motorcycle maybe, uh, you're okay for up to about eight hours. But if the volume goes up to 100 decibels, you're only safe for about 15 minutes. So you really need to monitor that time and take breaks if needed. The second thing that you should do is avoid those situations. If at all possible, you should stay away from loud noises. But you have to live your life, so that's not always possible. Um, if you need to be exposed to loud noises, you should wear hearing protection. There's different kinds of hearing protection, but um, there's foam earplugs or custom molded earplugs. You should uh, get something like that if you're going to be exposed to those loud sounds. Uh, the fourth thing that you should do is uh, stay away from the source of the loud sound as much as possible. Uh, just take a few steps back if you can. And the fifth thing you should do is you should get your hearing checked. Um, I would recommend anybody uh, under the age of 40 to get their hearing checked every five years. From age 40 to 60, you should probably get your hearing checked every three years. And after you're 60, that would go to every two years, unless you have a history of hearing loss and then it might need to be a little more frequent. Peterson is a graduate of the Grant McEwen University's Hearing Aid Practitioner Program and says if hearing loss is unavoidable due to work environment or genetics, technologies exist that can help those with hearing loss. Hearing aid technology has come a long way in the last few years. Every year it just gets better and better. The technology just keeps improving. Um, there's The hearing aids now are all digital. Uh, we can really pinpoint the different frequencies that you have trouble hearing and we can target those and give you the volume you need in those frequencies. His clinic offers a system which allows still and video images of the inside of the ear, allowing for more accurate diagnosis of hearing loss. Peterson performed a brief hearing test on me and said my hearing was within normal range. For more information about hearing loss, please visit LegacyHearing.com. For Go Southern Alberta, I'm Ryan Craddock.